we were in space dock when one of the crew members started yelling that he was getting reports that Earth had been attacked. Fuck, yelled out to him, what are you talking about? Couldn't believe it, that our planet had been attacked. We'd been attacked. All right, congratulations, you have been... Good afternoon. Is Lieutenant Jackson? Yep, that'd be me. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to inform you that you've been selected to serve aboard the ITS Eagle. Oh my god, are you serious? Uh, <clears throat> sorry, sir. <laughs> uh, when's it ready to launch? Well, the FLT drive is entering the final trial simulations now. Our orders are to prepare for launch within four to six weeks. Um, did they use the uh, Brunetti or the Capital photos for the drive, do you know? You're familiar with the design? Yes, sir. I've been uh, studying these ships since I got my security clearance, and I am really excited to fly in one. <laughs> well, your orders and reporting schedule are all laid out in this file. Once you arrive at Mission Control, you'll be boarding a shuttle which will dock at the ISS station, and then you'll be escorted to the real show. I can't wait, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, no problem getting the hug test, okay? Sorry. <clears throat> don't worry about it, Lieutenant. Just don't be late for launch. I wouldn't miss it. And if you have any questions uh, or have any difficulties, my name is Lieutenant Commander Tristan Kaprowski. My contact information is in the file. Good to meet you, sir. Good to meet you too, Lieutenant. Oh, and Lieutenant. Uh, uh, yes? Try not to hug any of the pilots. The flyboys get kind of excited, and uh, that's all I've heard for days. Got it. As you can see, I'm very busy trying to get my whole crew ready to launch. Yes, I can see that, Captain, but the question here is whether or not we should be funding this project at all. There's a lot of bad people out there, and bad people do bad things. My job is to stop those bad people from doing bad things. Without my project, there's nobody to stop anybody in the galaxy who wants to come in and give you a bloody nose from walking in and popping you right in the face. Yes, but you're talking about something that hasn't even happened, and there's absolutely no evidence that it ever will. Where I come from, if you don't lock your doors, people came, come in and take stuff. But if you have the biggest dog in the neighborhood, nobody's going to come in. Yeah, seems a little bit excessive, don't you think? Can I ask you a question? Yes, go ahead. So, since most of this technology came from the spacecraft that crashed here a few years back, and the military has claimed all technology since the crash, why is it we haven't seen any of that technology migrate into the private sector? You have cell phones, don't you? Laptops? That technology came from the crash. So, we hold a few things back like a belt drive. But, what if terrorists used a belt drive to drop a bomb on Times Square in New York City? That is why we hold back technology. Mm. And uh, who's policing the military? Why, that's why we have you lovely people. I don't understand these people. If you share with them, they complain because they want deniability. If you don't share with them, they complain because they say you're holding back all of the technology. Civvy, sir. You can't trust them. Yeah. What's your report, Commander? Most of the crew are on board already, sir. I have a briefing with some officers in a few minutes to explain the situation and bring everybody up to speed on the information. And what's the weapon status? Most of the weapons will be installed on Tuesday. We have the rail guns on board now. The armor is ready to go, and it should take a wallop, sir. And as far as the rest of the systems, I have a detailed report for you. Good work, Tristan. Keep everybody on their toes. I want to run several battle simulations this afternoon. Yes, sir. And if I may ask a question, sir, what exactly are you worried about? No life has ever been detected outside of our solar system. It's all of those probes that we sent out that we've never heard from again. That's what I'm worried about. You can't tell who's around the corner to step in and give you a bloody nose. <laughs> 